Today I want to show you how you can calculate eigenvalues of a 2 times 2 matrix faster and easier. Let's take a look at the following example. We want to calculate the eigenvalues of this matrix here. To do so we only need to calculate two numbers. The first number is minus the trace of A. So we have to calculate minus the trace of A. But this is pretty easy because, because minus the trace of A is just minus 1 plus 4. which is equal to minus 5. We will call this number here P. The second number we need to calculate is the determinant of A. This is also very easy. So we have to calculate the determinant of A. Which is just 1 times 4 minus 3 times 2. which is minus 2. And we will call this number here Q. OK, we will now use the PQ formula to find the two eigenvalues. I'm pretty sure you already know the PQ formula from school. It's the one you use to find the zeros of a polynomial of degree 2. So the eigenvalues are now lambda 1 2 is equal to and now we will use the pi q formula with these two values here. So the PQ formula is just minus p half plus minus the square root of this value here squared minus q. And now when we insert for P and Q, we get 5 half plus minus the square root of 25, 4 plus 2. which is the same as 5 half plus minus the square root of 25 4 plus this one here And this can be written as 5 plus minus the square root of 33. And here we have 2. And now with this PQ formula, we have immediately found the two eigenvalues lambda 1, 2. 
and these two eigenvalues are given as this number here. Ok, this was pretty easy. Now let's take a look at another example. So now we have this matrix here, the new matrix A. We want to find the eigenvalues of this matrix here. The first thing we need to calculate is the trace of A with a minus sign. So minus the trace of A is equal to, this is pretty easy, we have minus and the sum of these two values here. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and so we get for minus the trace of A just minus 4. And as before, we will call this number P. The second value we need is the determinant of A. So determinant of A is equal to 2 times 2 minus 1 times 1, which is 3. And we will call this number Q. To find the eigenvalues, we just use the PQ formula. So to get our eigenvalues, lambda 2, 1, we use the PQ formula which is minus p half plus minus the square root of this value squared minus q. Now we just have to insert for p and q which gives us 4 halves with which is 2 plus minus the square root of this value squared 4 minus 3. This here under the square root is 1. Therefore we get two, two different eigenvalues. So the first eigenvalue is 2 plus 1 which is 3 and the second eigenvalue is 2 minus 1, which is 1. And now we have found our two eigenvalues. If you need to find the eigenvectors 2, 2, I can show you another trick. So for the eigenvectors, you have to solve something like this. is equal to zero, where this matrix here looks like that. So you have 2 minus lambda i 1 1 and 2 minus lambda i. So to get the eigenvectors y i, um, you have to solve this linear equation system here, where we have a matrix that looks like this for the eigenvalues lambda i here. Um, okay, let's do this for lambda 1 is equal 3. Okay, then this matrix here, A lambda 1, times V1, is equal to, so to get to this matrix here, we just have to calculate 2 minus lambda 1, so 3 is minus 1, here we have 1. 1 and 2 minus lambda 1 
which is 2 minus 3, is minus 1 again. OK, and then we have here V1. And this should equal zero. Okay, to get to the eigenvector v1, we have to solve this linear equation system here. And we can now directly write down the solution for the first eigenvector without any calculations. We have, you just have to look at the first row of this matrix here. Okay, this first row here. To get to the eigenvector v1, we have to do the following thing. So s times we interchange the position of these two entries here. So here is minus 1, here is 1, so we interchange the position of these two entries, so we have 1 and minus 1, and then after that we have to change the sign of one of these entries. So for example we change this sign here to plus 1, and we are done. We have found all the eigenvalues v1 to the eigenvector lambda 1. And s here is a real number. And we calculated it for lambda 1 is equal to 3. Now let's do the same thing for lambda 2. So in the case of a lambda 2 times v2 We get for a lambda 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, here we have 1, here we have 1, and 2 minus lambda 2, 2 minus 1 is 1 again, times v2, and we have to solve this equation system here equals zero. And now we do the same thing as here. We can immediately write down the solutions for V2. So V2 is equal to some number t times times we interchange the positions of these two entries here in this vector, um, so 1, 1, nothing change, changes, and then after that we have to interchange the sign of one of these entries. So for example, we change the sign of the second entry here. So plus 1 becomes minus 1. And t here is again a real number. And we calculated the, um, the eigenvector for lambda 2 equals 1. And now we have found the uh, eigenvectors for the eigenvalue lambda 1 equals 3. And we have found the eigenvectors for the eigenvalue lambda 2 equals 1. Okay, in my next video I will show you how you can use a similar approach for a 3x3 matrix. Thanks for your attention.